Hi, my name is Charles Sokyo Machogo, uh, Department of Mass and Physics. Uh, uh, a final year student. My project is Solar Powered Egg Incubator. Uh, it focuses on improving uh, food security, which is a major problem here in Kenya and most of developing countries. Uh, with this, uh, uh, we know that uh, erratic uh, power fluctuation uh, is, uh, is a problem in, in our country, and uh, that means poultry farming, uh, depending on electri electricity, it will not function very well. So that's why uh, energy experts prefer the use of alternative energy source, and that is renewable energy. And in my case, uh, in my project, I've used a solar-powered egg incubator, so a solar panel, uh, which uh, is, is the main source of energy. Uh, I've used a microcontroller, uh, which is Arduino Uno, uh, which controls and integrates all the processes that take place uh, in the incubator. We know that for uh, an egg to, to hatch, uh, we have some requirements that need to be are there too, uh, which is most uh, parameters are temperature, uh, relative humidity, ventilation, and egg turning. So I uh, focused on these parameters to ensure that uh, egg hatches uh, efficiently and at 100% and, uh, at sure. Uh, uh, my, the development of this incubator uh, is, I've started with the mechanical design, the solar part design, and the software design. The mechanical uh, design are focused on the casing of, uh, of the incubator, which I've used a rectangular uh, cube, uh, wooden, which has, I've divided it in two parts, that is upper drovers and lower drovers. On upper drovers is where uh, I've placed my fan, for ventilation and uh, humidity regulation. Uh, we, I have an uh, egg tray and my two incandescent uh, 100 watts bulbs, which act as a source of heat. Uh, at, the, at the same uh, part, at the same point, the upper drawer, I have placed my uh, direct current servo motor, which uh, is, is used to turn eggs automatically. And on the lower drover, I swear I will place my eggs after they hatch, and uh, my, there is water there for humidity control purposes. So I'll just show you how it works. So the maximum temperature uh, for an egg to hatch uh, ranges between 37 degrees Celsius and 38 degrees Celsius for the first uh, 18 days. And the last uh, 18, uh, for the first 18 days, and the last three days, uh, the temperature is kept constant at 36 degrees Celsius. And relatively, uh, uh, humidity is kept constant uh, for the first 18 days uh, at 48%. And at last 18, uh, three days, it is kept at, at 71%. Uh, my, I've set my uh, Arduino Uno to integrate the process that is taking place and using uh, a digital humidity and temperature sensor. Uh, the temperature and humidity can be sensed and regulated at, at the incubator. So when the temperature is at 38 degrees, my two incandescent bulbs uh, will turn off automatically until a temperature of below 38, that is 37, 36 and below. I switched. At the same time, uh, when uh, it's at 37, the, I'm expecting my, my two incandescent bulb, which is act as a source of heat, to, to turn on. And my fan, when the temperature is at 48%, uh, my fan should not run until a temperature, a uh, uh, humidity of, of, uh, below 48% is reached. And that process continues to take place repeatedly for the first 18 days. The last uh, three days, uh, things uh, 
change it automat uh, automatically and with this you can see a farmer will have a minimal uh, time to take care of the egg and they will just hatch themselves so uh, if I contrast this with the natural way of incubating eggs uh, the broody hen uh, can only hatch uh, a maximum of 10 to 12 10 to 12 eggs and to hatch it takes uh, only uh, 21 days you see with that range of time and the number of eggs that is being hatched there is uh, you will see the level of production will be low compared to uh, using an artificial solar powered egg incubator where everything has been kept at a minimal cost that is energy and the efficiency is high therefore production is high because at uh, the, this incubator can uh, uh, accommodate uh, uh, 30 eggs for the first 21 days and it is efficient and it's 100% so the production will be high. My source of uh, energy is solar, solar energy. And this is how it, it works. So I'll set the condition required for an egg to hatch. Uh, the maximum temperature is 38, uh, I'll set. And the humidity is 48%, I'll set. So, when a temperature of below 38 is reached, uh, the, the bulb should turn on automatically. So we wait. And because the humidity is at 44%, my fan is running to regulate it until 48% uh, is reached. At the same time, I have a servo motor. We know that egg should, should be turned at least uh, three times uh, day and night and in my in my innovation I've set it to work uh, at a at a range of every, at every 30 seconds the egg is turned automatically if you bring it and see how it turns so uh, yeah so this is my servo motor so after every 30 seconds uh, it turns the egg this is my egg tray where I place my eggs here. So uh, that's how it's turning the egg automatically. This process keeps on uh, repeating itself uh, for 21 days as, uh, as the operation takes place. So the, you can see the, the work of a farmer is very minimal uh, in that uh, he, he or she will just come in and see how the incubator is working. And at the end of 21 days, he gets his chicks healthy. Thank you.